Brian, 3 0 win against Spartans uh, here at Pierce Hill today. And um, what are your thoughts on that game? Overall, absolutely delighted with the girls' application. We obviously had a game plan, we'd worked on stuff midweek at training, and I think it came off to a tee. A couple of the exercises that we did, you can see that with Rachel's, with Rachel's goal. And, but if I'm being really honest, I spoke to the girls at half time, and since my time being here, that's probably the best overall performance for 45 minutes. I thought every single player was switched on, they, were all, they all knew their jobs, they were all at it, and it was a real pleasing aspect to see, to see where they were. And, but I was under no, no illusions that the Spartans were going to come out and just down to the second half and it was going to be a real battle and I knew they were going to come out fighting and to be fair them they did Megan's not really had a save to make but it was more of a scrappy second half but it showed another side to my girls where they really dug deep and we go and get the third goal colour goal right at the end and I was just delighted for them Yeah as you mentioned great performance especially in that first half but that doesn't necessarily guarantee goals was it good to see the girls go and get those goals? Yeah often you, you, you hear me speak quite a lot about being ruthless and stuff when we get our chances and Cara Henderson said a great chance with head on, she misses it, Demi should probably do better with one for a corner but when the chances came, the real big chances came, the girls going stuck it away, Rachel does great for the first goal, crosses it in, young Abby's there, it's a, it's a great save from the goalkeeper but what I asked of Cara Henderson, if the ball's in the right flank that she gets herself in at the back post and she does and she gets herself a tap in, we go 1-0 up, second one was Rachel, she's come short, spins in behind, Demi plays a great ball and the unrushing keeper, she gets there before her and knocks it past her and it's 2-0 and Overall, the feeling at half time was absolutely delighted, but as I said, we had to be out there fighting and scrapping the second half because we knew it was going to be a battle. Yeah, as you say, a very different type of game, second half. Did you feel like the girls did adapt to that quite well? Yeah, I thought the, their game management, what I spoke to them about at half time, was absolutely fantastic. They knew when they played, they knew when it had to just be defenders, and overall, they, they moved the ball a bit quicker. And But Spartans, as I said, they went a wee bit longer, more direct, made it change the game a little bit. Try to obviously try to get yourself into it, but overall, my back four stayed strong. My keeper's not really the safe to make. It's a fantastic clean sheet because Spartans are a good outfit. They're always finishing in the top half of this league. So for a team like for Partick Fissel, only second year in in this, in this top league, that shows how far we've come in a short period of time. But it's a, it's one result. Now we've got a massive challenge next week away to Celtic. So we've got to dust ourselves down and regroup and get ready for that hard, huge challenge. Yeah, as much as it's a massive game, we do take some good form into it though. Yeah, listen, we came back from the break, we've scored eight goals in two games and we've got to take the confidence into the Celtic game. Listen, nobody will give us a chance against them, let's not kid ourselves, I know, I'm, I'm not daft, I know how that's how it is, the top three are, as I always speak about, they're a million miles away to catch, but you've got to go there, as that word I always use, belief that we can get something from the game. And it'll be no different come next Sunday that we'll begin with belief and go and get something, point, maybe three points, you just never know in football. Thanks very much.